Hi everyone, Kat here. Welcome to my channel. Well, the internet, YouTube has been just abuzz with the news that Harry may have been hospitalized after an argument and a panic attack out in public with Megan. Uh, reportedly, a Montecito newspaper has uh, reported this. I couldn't find it. I did look, but I, I mean, I don't know all the newspapers there either anyway. But there's a lot of talk about uh, what may have actually happened. Some YouTubers are saying, you know, um, sure, he may have had a panic attack. There's news that he's in a psychiatric setting. And how can this be? You can't just have somebody sent to a psychiatric setting. But in California, there is a thing called a 5150 psychiatric hold. And this is a case where an you can call and an ambulance will come and an ambulance uh, will take the subject directly to the hospital for um, a period of time. Now, let me just, I have it here on my laptop. We're gonna find it and I'll read you what they say about a 5150 hold. Fifty-one fifty, In California, law enforcement officers and mental health professionals can place a patient on an emergency 72-hour hold or a 5150 if, due to a mental illness, they are determined to pose a danger to themselves, a danger to others, or they are gravely disabled. Now, we saw 5150s being used in the case of Britney Spears and Amanda Holden, just for a couple of examples, where um, in Britney's case, her father, well, I think at that time it was, I think the first time was when her children were very little. She was having, you know, weekend custody visits and it was time to release the kids back to her ex-husband, she didn't want to. And in this particular incident, she locked herself and her one young child in the bathroom. And uh, we we saw pictures of the whole saga playing out. And it was an ambulance that took her away. They loaded her into the ambulance and put her in the hospital. Now, I'm not saying that Harry's outburst or panic attack would have been enough to warrant that kind of a thing. But there are YouTubers that are saying that, um, you know, Megan had this done because what she wants to do is much the same way Britney's father took control of her finances. Megan could become conservator of Harry's wealth and have control of everything. Uh, and that this is what she's bucking for. This is what some people are saying, and I disagree, and I'll tell you why. In the case of a conservatorship, she would have to, at the very least, pretend she had his best interest at heart and keep him around, keep things focused on him, and she would only have control of the money he has now. I'm sure she's familiar with their bank account. Uh, there's no more money coming from the palace until Harry is 40 years old, and that is the rest of his inheritance from the Queen Mother's estate. Uh, William got his when he was 40. Harry's to get his in another couple of years. Uh, they won't release that early. In fact, when Meghan and Harry were planning their escape to freedom, they did confront the Queen and ask for that money to be released, and she said no. So there's no hope of Meghan getting any extra money or any new money or a new infusion. If she um, puts them on a psychiatric hold and takes conservatorship, it's what they've got now. And uh, a conservatorship, in the case of Harry would absolutely blow up his earning power. 
uh, it would be non-existent after this. He's a loopy hospital Harry. Nobody's going to pay any money uh, to listen to him. You know, they might pay money to listen to her. They might pay money to buy a book. But uh, her earning power, as far as Harry goes, goes out the window if she if she goes the way of trying to get a conservatorship of him. Notwithstanding, she's going to have to keep him around then. You know, you don't hospitalize your poor husband and then just, you know, ditch him for the money. There is no more money. There, I mean, that plan is just, it doesn't make sense from a schemer's point of view. It doesn't give her the payout that she wants. I think instead what's going on is that... This, among other events that have happened and that may happen in the future, will just add to her, her pile of stories that she can use. Look, Harry's a drug addict. Look, he drinks. Look, he, you know, a 5150 hold, the panic attacks. I can't have him around the children. It's her path to divorce. That is her uh, best option at this point, I think, um, in terms of grifting the royal family, she probably is under the, the assumption that she can get, you know, a billion dollars out of Charles or something over this. Um, and I think as she has miscalculated things right from the beginning, I think this is a miscalculation. Sure, she'll get a payout if she divorces Harry, but not going to be the amount that, you know, it's not going to be some astronomical amount that she's dreaming of. Also, uh, there's going to be the question of custody of the kids and all of that. She's going to have to produce the kids. The whole thing is going to fall apart. I mean, it's already starting to fall apart. We see that their reputation the, you know, the the whole Spotify debacle. It looks like uh, Netflix might be pulling out. Where are they going to get their next big uh, endorsement or project? Things are looking grim for them right now. And she may be desperate. He, We know he's mentally unstable anyway. It could have very well have had a panic attack. Who knows? He could be in the hospital. A 5150 hold is a real thing. Um, Megan may be behind it. This may be due to her scheming. Uh, we'll see what happens. We'll keep an eye on this one and uh, see how it all plays out. Like, subscribe, leave me a comment and share this video and we'll see you in the next one. Have a great day, everybody.